Okay, so um, we've said a lot around what a modern consumer is looking for, but how can we make sure that you know you can meet and exceed those needs of those customers? So modern customer experience platforms give your customers the freedom to interact with you on their preferred device using the media that works best for them, whilst giving agents and supervisors the tools to manage today's omnichannel customer journeys. And I want to give you a quick demonstration to show the difference that these capabilities can make. So to bring the story to life for you, I'd like to take you through, well, take you through a little story. So in this, we've got our customer, John, who has placed an order with Summerfoots, which is our kind of fictional department store. Now, I think John must be one of those Instagram influencers or something, because he's, he's still kind of jetting off to Dubai. And he now needs the sunglasses that he's ordered delivered to his home address. Again, we all can kind of dream. We also have James, which is, uh, as well as myself, he's also our agent who will be helping John through his journey. And we're going to see how mobile first AI enabled customer experience solutions, such as Mitel's CX portfolio, provide John with a next generation customer uh, chat experience. So, like a typical modern consumer, John heads to Sunford's website to see how he can get his query resolved. There we go. Here we have Summerford's website. And again, we can kind of click on this nice kind of contact us button, start a live chat. I'm going to choose this option as, as John, because it will give me a fairly immediate kind of resolution to my issue. We're going to fill out some details that have been requested from me, such as an email address for contacts, um, a couple of other questions, and we're going to then start that live chat conversation. So at this point here, rather than going straight through to an agent, Actually, we're going to go through to a virtual agent, an AI kind of chatbot who's going to be there to be able to see if it can help um, and respond to my needs. So in this case, we'll have Maya, who's going to say hello and ask how we can help. So in this case, I'm going to respond and say, yeah, I need online order help. And the beauty of natural language powered chatbots is it's just kind of very easy to kind of converse with it, can really understand the root of what it is that I need as a customer to get done. So in this case, there's a fairly obvious bit of information that I haven't yet given Maya, which is my order number. So I can provide that. And I can go away and look up and give me the kind of status of that delivery. And we can see it's there, ready to be, uh, it'll be delivered shortly. But as we spread, and as many of us can kind of sympathize with these days, um, that's kind of my work address. I'm not actually gonna be there um, at the moment. So I need to change that delivery address. And again, that's something that even though Maya might not be able to facilitate um, automatically, it's something that should be able to transfer me off to, uh, you know, to a team of advisors who'd be able to resolve that um, and get that customer um, customer query sorted. So at this point, my kind of customer chat conversation is now being transferred from that virtual agent through to somebody within a contact center or within a small team. Um, who is looking after and able to kind of resolve that. So now we jump across, we'll see a typical kind of agent interface used to kind of respond to these kind of queries from customers. So now as the agent, I can see this chat conversation has been presented through to me. I can review the history of that chat conversation so I know exactly why John has been routed through to me. At this point here, I can see it's around getting that um, order address updated. So obviously I can respond back to John. I can tell him um, that once I've accepted that chat, I can see that he needs to change his delivery address. And at this point, maybe that's something that I can't actually do by a chat conversation, or maybe it's something that's actually quite uh, a little bit complex. I just need to kind of phone, maybe go through some security questions. Again, using these sorts of modern platforms makes it really easy to actually kind of pivot across and from a chat conversation, then escalate up to a phone call. So at this point here, I'm actually now, you know, very straightforwardly dining out. And now I can speak and have that conversation through with John. Talking through the process, asking any additional kind of questions that I need to. This point here, I can jump between both channels. And once I've kind of finished that process, I can then kind of click hang up to then end that call. As you see, that chat conversation is still on running. So I still have all the, the access I need. 
to things such as you know, maybe it's a, um, a CRM record so I can see which orders John has recently placed. Maybe I'm using a, so maybe I'm using Dynamics as an example. I can kind of jump quickly across the relevant record within there. I can keep my kind of access to my call controls within that, um, making sure that I can immediately kind of see everything about that customer and it can be very efficient for me as an agent to really give John what it is that he really needs. So within here, we've now updated those details. I can then tell John the good news that that's all sorted for him. Um, and we can then kind of both go about our business. We can end that particular call. So here we can see that order update has gone through. That's all been nice and straightforward. But as is so often the case with these sorts of demonstrations, um, that makes things a little bit too straightforward, a little bit too easy. And we're going to make things a little bit more, uh, a little bit more interesting. So unfortunately, there has been an issue with John's order. It's kind of been discontinued. So what we can do now is take a look at how we can continue that customer journey and look to resolve John's issue. So again, John, uh, again, very modern kind of consumer. He does a lot of stuff from his mobile device. So if we bring up John's mobile on screen, we can see how we can then continue to assist John on his kind of own platform of choice. So if we bring this across here, what we can see here is John's mobile phone, for example. And we see the email that has been sent to him advising him that the sunglasses he was after um, have now been discontinued and there's no more that are left in stock. So at this point here, what we can do is John can scroll down, he can see a nice easy WhatsApp icon, which will give him the opportunity to get in touch by uh, the type of platform that's very suited for, uh, for a mobile device. So by tapping that, we can then start that chat conversation. And what you'll see is that will then be, again, routed through to the contact center, um, very much like we had before, but this time on a completely kind of different media. So now we've started that conversation, that will again be kind of routed through to uh, to our particular agent. When I'll then be able to kind of pick up that uh, pick up that correspondence and continue. So as we just kind of wait for that, that we can then answer that much like we did before. So from an agent point of view, it's all the same kind of experience that we saw. But again, John is using that uh, very familiar kind of interface that he's used to using. So from here, I can say um, as the agent, I have access to all the kind of history around that customer. I can see, for example, that email that was sent out advising that it was out of stock, which makes it very easy to then kind of advise that, you know, I can see the order was out of stock. Very sorry about that. Um, confirm that the recent has been processed and ask how it is that I can help him. So for John, he's going working abroad tomorrow morning and he really needs those sunglasses. Um, so I can ask, do you have anything similar? And this is where I can use as, a, as an agent, the kind of platforms that are available to me to look up and we can say, actually, we've got some, uh, we've got some Ray-Ban aviators in stock and let me kind of send you the details of those and we can just kind of check and see whether that's something um, that would be of interest to you. So we can use these kind of extensible kind of capabilities to pull in data from other sources, etc. At this point, we can see here we're kind of sending those details across over to uh, over to John from where he's then able to kind of review those and decide, yeah, is that something um, that we actually kind of want to go ahead with? Um, is that a suitable replacement item? And if that is the case, then obviously we can go ahead and kind of continue that journey a little further. So he says, yeah, those look great. So I want to check because we need them quite early. Um, if we let's see know where uh, he's located, then I can check whether those are in stock. And again, this is where platforms such as WhatsApp kind of come into their own because I'm able to use things such as location sharing, to be able to send that through. Our agent is able to see that, is able to check what the, the local, uh, the nearest kind of local store is, and able to say, yep, 
our Birmingham New Street store has that in stock. Um, it's only an hour, a uh, mile and a half away. Would you like to actually pay for that now, obviously being a click and collect type service? So John can obviously say, yeah. Now we need to take those details. Um, we want to do it in channel if possible. Um, and we want to make sure that those details are taken securely in a way that's easy for our customer to be able to respond to. So what we can actually do is we can use these details and actually embed them within that chat conversation. So in this case, we can insert a command. It's 204 pounds for those glasses. We can kind of trigger that secure payment to happen within the chat. You'll see that John receives a link. Um, that is then added into that conversation. And John can then use that um, to actually make this payment through his mobile, through a normal kind of web-based payment that all of us are very kind of familiar with doing these days. So I can add in the cardholder name, the usual kind of details that all of us are kind of familiar with making these days. Now these aren't real card details, so we can put away the, the pens and paper trying to write those down. Um, so you enter in the expiry date and security code, and then make that payment. What you can see is that our agent has actually been updated on the progress of that. So as John has been navigating those screens, if he's had any issues with expired dates or invalid card numbers, um, the agent's there to then kind of help and support them. And then can obviously kind of tap on make payment and submit that particular request. At this point, we can jump back to the conversation and you'll see that we get a notification saying that payment has now been completed. We now know that that is all sorted and those items will be ready. So I can say that that's, that's great. That's all done. The order confirmation details have been sent to, sent to you. And I can, as a customer, then respond, thanks. I'll head down now. So let's recap on what we have seen there. Let's bring it off screen. So if you think about what we've just kind of gone through, uh, oh, you've seen how these dedicated kind of CX platforms can enhance both the customer journey, but also the agent experience with powerful features such as AI powered virtual agents, um, you know, soft phone capabilities, for flexible working, the ability to extend these platforms through custom commands and kind of third party integrations and being able to embed kind of your line of business applications within a single kind of agent interface to make it really easy for your customers to get the best service possible. 